After a year-long search, the city of San Diego has a new chief sustainability officer. And she's joining a team that's trying to make the city a more eco-friendly place to live and work. ABC 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena spoke exclusively to her today and has more on her plans for San Diego. Yep, Derek and Kim, this position was one the city says they took time to fill because they wanted to make sure they had the right person. Shelby Rust Busso tells me the job holds so many opportunities, she's just eager to get started. It's a question Shelby Rust Busso says she gets asked all the time. What does a chief sustainability officer do? Do what we can from a policy perspective to make sure the impacts of climate change are really minimized as much as possible. In San Diego, that means she'll be working to implement the city's climate action plan, which has a goal of net zero emissions by 2035. She says her job really covers a lot of areas. It really touches on every single facet of city work. So we have to work on recycling. We have to work on flood mitigation. We have to work with our buildings and our energy um, space and our municipal utilities or general utilities, every partnership that we can. Russ Busso will also lead the city's work on the long-term planning and implementation for decarbonizing buildings and neighborhoods. She says she'd also like to explore how the city can better take care of and preserve the quality of our ocean and other bodies of water. I think there's still a lot of room in the city's collaboration on coastal work to figure out our role. And while she'll be focusing on changing things on a larger scale, she says the city will also be looking to educate. How we can make the connection to people's daily lives um, and what they can do at home, the food they eat, you know, what they do with their trash. All of it contributing to a more eco-friendly and sustainable San Diego. The city's new climate action plan is expected to be adopted by the council sometime this summer. In the news, in the studio, Lindsay Pena, ABC 10 News.